Breaking news, breaking news, you heard it here first. Hello again. Not a terrible day. I've left the wind blocker off for the time being. A little bit more ambient noise for you. Got a few things I'm planning to do today, not 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 including trying to get a haircut. But um yes, anyway, first stop in the station for yet another one of these bridge pictures in that sequence. All good. So regular viewers will know that I've been doing pictures of this bridge and I think I got to about four of them, maybe five. Yeah, five I think in the sequence. I won't run back through them all again now because I'm sure you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, another one popped up. Again, it's uh, from the same set, I believe. Either before the work or after the work rather than during. This wall here has yet to be built. It's still a bank. But uh, yeah, okay, let's line him up. Here we go, not a million miles away. There's the bridge there as it is now and the, um, the footbridge in the background. Here it is having that work done. And I think we've established it was 1970 was the date, 1970. So there we go, yet another one. Wonder if any more of that sequence are gonna pop up. I think there's a fast train gonna come past in a minute. All good, we'll catch that and then we're on our way. Whee! What a good start. Lovely. Oh, he's a poor mate. Let's listen to him under the bridge. Lovely. Right, let's crack on. So, first plan of the day is to walk down Station Road to see if my barber's back yet. Take that from there. And I also want to find number seven Station Road for a reason that will be clear in a minute. I don't know which one number seven is at the moment, but when we find it, we will explain it. Here we go, just down there, that's Station Road used to come up a lot further at the end of this part here where I'm sort of standing now used to be the railway hotel and um, that used to come on up as far as almost where the road is and that was the um, there's some shops there and stuff anyway let's try and find number seven number seven station road lovely right we're about half an hour later now I've just been into the barbers had my hair cut lovely I'll show you a quick glimpse of it in a minute but the whole point to be established at number seven would have been over there. And that's the area that all got demolished. Where the old police station used to be in the steam laundry, it all got demolished for um, what buildings are there now in the Jolly Breeze, etc. Well, the building that the Jolly Breeze is in. So assuming that we're going to talk about number seven, it was actually called Cherry, Cherry Limited, and it was an estate agent's. And here's an advert from 1967 which gives you some house prices in Timmouth. So if you pause it, you should be able to see how much it would have cost you to buy a three bedroom bungalow. Clue, about 2,000. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I say that would have been located somewhere along here in this area, but a lot cheaper to buy a property then. Lovely. Quick shot of my hair, freshly groomed. Oh, I'm just heading up the main street now. Got to pop into Orchard Gardens to do something. Take the side road. Catch protection, subway. Here we go. One of the back roads again. I think this is actually the end of Clampett Lane. The other end of Clampett Lane. I'm not sure what they call it. I can't see any signs anywhere. But um, yes, there used to be a garage there. Many years ago, I remember that buildings there that you can sort of go up inside it might be that actually where you used to go up inside oh look the royal garage it's even got the uh, the name so maybe it's still a garage then crazy certainly a bit chillier with my hair cut wind's blowing a little bit more at me oh 
shivery. Orchard gardens. Our naked man, Timoth resident streaker, hiding in the bushes. Oh, what a place I was going to go in. Orchard gardens isn't open. Not brilliant, but there we go. I'll try again another time. Vintage clothes shop. The Royal Bazaar it's called. When I last looked at this there was just one jumper in the window and they said opening soon. But um, yeah, no, it's closed today for some reason. Marilyn. Well I think I'm going to head off towards the uh, seawall simply because tomorrow it's going to be raining apparently and that's my curry day and I wanted to get some steps and I won't be able to so I'll get them today instead. Seawall time. Still waiting for the bakehouse to open to get my mum her favourite pasty. Glad I got my hair cut anyway. Feel a lot more myself now. I've felt a bit scruffy for a while with the uh, longer hair. But uh, it is what it is. All gone now though. Lovely. Sharp and short. Oh yes. Team Bean. Busy as always. Good old seawall. Oh yes, lovely. I heard a toot. Lovely. I think I will go all the way along just for the walk because I say tomorrow it's probably going to be raining unfortunately and I won't be able to do very much at all. Hello. We. I heard a little toot, just a little baby one. Let's see who's hiding in here. Hello. We. There we go, little baby train, right up here by the LiDAR cameras, monitoring the cliffs, so awkward to see. Bye bye. I think I can see that sensor there, kind of in the centre of the picture now. And there he is from below, from the slightly different angle.
we go, Salty Dog. Not open today, it's Tuesday. That's the day they don't open. But otherwise, all good. Let's head back. Breaking news, breaking news. You heard it here first, the plane has moved. I don't know if you can see it yet. I can though. Let me try and find it for you in the uh, focus. Two seconds. Right in the centre there now, looking between those two top bits of the fence. It's gone down there, from up there. So there he is. Just on the awkward shot lakes for me, because the top of the fence is blocking the plane. But there we go. It has eventually moved. Here he is again from a slightly different angle. Notice the pampas grass all smashed back in, by the winds onto the uh, cliffs. Coming up on the uh, waterfall now, in that groove there. Just through the missing fence panel. No idea what it's doing, it didn't look on the other way, on the way along. Oh yeah, a little bit of activity. Not too shabby. Top marks waterfall, well done. Kind of missed that one, totally. A couple of people in front of me, I'm walking along, they're pulling out the cameras or pulling out the phones. I thought, oh, they're going to do some film. And two seconds later, there's the train. <laughs> so it's sneaking up behind me. Should have taken more clues from what was going on around me. Never mind. Here's something just a little bit different, I think. Hello, something a little bit different. You're not a passenger train, are you? No. Hello, toot toot. Multi-purpose stone blower, and it tooted. Lovely. Let's just let that disappear from our stream with no zooming in or special effects. Lovely. A little bit of sun now. That warm my shaved head up. A little too as well. Probably didn't catch that on the uh, thing, but I did. Well, there we go. That was the seawall, full length. Not that I actually planned to do that this morning. I generally didn't. I was actually going to head down here for 11 o'clock to meet up with a subscriber, but they said they weren't going to be here on time first thing this morning, so I changed my route. Decided to get the hair cut, and well, the rest is history. I didn't plan to go all the way along the seawall today, but I can't complain. It's like I say, it's going to be raining tomorrow, so it is what it is. Here are the Lido bunnies. As someone, I think Bob said, sounds like some sort of dance troupe, possibly a little bit risque. And I said, wouldn't be bad if you did have a Lido bunnies perform to raise money for fixing the leak. Right, there we go. Not gonna rehash everything I just said. Had a haircut, had a nice walk. All good. Thanks for joining me. See you again tomorrow, probably for a shorter walk, cause it's raining. So take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.